Hello there, and welcome back to yet again another podcast. Uh, we're looking at 2A3 for today, so I'm not sure how long or short this will be. We'll get actually some of this um, in class, but uh, I'll explain how congressional behavior is influenced by electrical processes, partisanship, and divided government. So, I don't know. There's no real narrative to this class. That's what's, you know, that's why I think I like history more. It's more of a storytelling. This just comes in chunks, unless you have something to actually apply it to that's happening right now. It's hard to make it just not super exciting, but we will try. We will try. So let's get into it. All right. If you haven't watched this one, please watch this one. Um, I don't know what I got to do to get you guys to do some things. It seems like maybe five of you are consistently keeping up on podcasts based on quizzes and things. Where do you get that number up? So these little videos are like eight minutes long. And this one gets into the congressional leadership, namely things we've already discussed somewhat. Speaker of the House, congressional whips, minority leaders on the Senate side as well. So take a look at it. And then this one, I mean, you might not need to because I think you'll understand this concept without it. And we're actually be playing a game with it. So uh, on the idea of gerrymandering. So what this basically looks like is when someone's in power, right? They have an ability to redraw district lines. And because of public opinion polling and voter turnout, you can tell where um, people who are more likely to vote for you live. So this all happened way back in the 1800s by a governor, Jerry, actually, out of Massachusetts, redrew his um, border to include more people who are more likely to vote for him and his Democratic Republican Party of that time. There was no Democrats and Republicans yet, still one party. And so what did it end up looking like? was a salamander, which I always thought like a salamander was just some lizard thing, which it is. But a salamander is also a mythical beast that looks like a dragon. So you can see that on the left-hand side. Um, so it's, it's pretty crazy. And so since then, there has been some Supreme Court cases that are looking to um, erode the ability of Congress to do that. So imagine that. Uh, God, I didn't even know what it would be like in a school setting. It would be like as if I had the power. Eh, it's not, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe to, like, somehow if I was the teacher and the guidance counselor and the principal, all that authority, I could then literally design my class for exactly like handpick students that I want in my class. To some degree, that might make sense, but not not really. We're your elected officials. Exactly. We elected you to be our voters. It's kind of what gerrymandering gets at. Check it out. So how to steal an election. So just look at it. You got 60 blue, 40% red. You go to the next one, and you can see the box. Five districts. You would have five blue wins and zero red wins. But if you gerrymander it, you can actually give yourself an advantage by carving up um, the percentage you need to win. And so you can see the old little political cards in there expressing that same notion of, of this idea. And so it's once again, another way democracy is subverted. It's almost like it's this whole class is like playing a game with somebody where there's some like subjective gray areas and rules and they do everything they can to, to win the game, even though everyone knows the rules are not intended that way, to make them that way. It's like the New England Patriots. That's what, that's what the American government is. I hate the New England Patriots so much. So, so much. Bartek, this is for you. I I can fly. That's it. And dang it, I named your name, so now you're going to live in infinity, at least for the next couple of years. All right, so here's some modern gerrymandered states. So ideally, political borders should be relatively uniform. There's no, there's no reason for them to look like this. 
Usually what happens is they're racially motivated. Notice Chicago's fourth and Chicago's seventh district. Um, why? Why is it cut like that? Because politicians did it that way to ensure the votes that they needed to win. It's that simple. I know Baltimore is a huge one with that idea as well. But the best way to look at it is to play this game. This redistricting game. It's pretty cool. So that's what we're going to be doing in class. Um, actually, you'll probably have played it already after you watch this. So I'm not going to spend too much time talking about uh, gerrymandering. Peace. Let's look at the other um, ways in which in which government can be divided. You know, if we go back to what we're trying to focus on is how um, the election process, uh, divided government can change what's happening. So you've got this idea of a lame duck. And I think we talked about it in class, but I've got to make sure because it's right, I'm trying to roll these over from year to year. The idea of a lame duck is basically a president in his last term of office, uh, last year of the term in office. So the idea is why should they get to do anything important? They're on their way out. All right, so Amendment 20, 1933, is the lame duck amendment. Set new dates for the start of terms for Congress, January 3rd, so the first Monday of summer following the election, and for Niagara's president, you can read. Defeated candidates were called lame ducks, suggesting that their political wings had been clipped. This shortened the time they could remain in office. So imagine, let's use Obama for an example. Uh, it doesn't really work. Let's say he only was a one-term president, right? So after four years, he loses in November. He then would have all of November, December, and most of January to um, do what he wanted to kind of make sure his predecessor would fail if it was – I don't know. I don't feel like I'm making sense on this. Maybe I'm not. I'm really tired. I'm going to go to the next slide, see what's on there. And that's, that's the idea as he was on his way out, 